Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to give a big welcome to all the Platinum Premier Plus members for choosing Tang Airline Flight 1990 as your choice of flight. Today starts a brand new series on the channel. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's clock in. Our first stop in this series is none other than New York City. I personally have never been to New York. So this is going to be my first time, and maybe you guys' first time as well. Here in Tang Airline, we like to give our passengers the best experience ever. This isn't just like a, some sort of we're just flying around. No, not like that. In Tang Airline, we like to give our passengers an experience that we never forget. Me, your captain, actually went ahead and looked up some facts about New York that I think you guys might enjoy. Now, if some of these facts are incorrect, you guys can blame Google for that because that's where I got all my information. Did you know the original name of New York isn't actually New York? It's actually called New Amsterdam. When I found that out, I was like, huh? That's really the name? New Amsterdam? And sure enough, it is New Amsterdam. We all know New York nickname is called the Big Apple, right? But actually, there's an interesting story behind it. So you see, in 1920, the Big Apple was referred to a, on a big award for a racehorse. And the Big Apple stands for the ultimate prize or the best. And that's how it all started. Because I guess it looks like here back then, this is where all the big stuff happens here, you know. And it wasn't until 1971 that it officially became the Big Apple. And as we flying down here in Manhattan, just look at the gorgeous view. Let's look at the cockpit view here. We got one World Trade Center right here. Look at that beauty. We actually got plenty of facts about the one World Trade Center. But just flying here, can't believe we're in a simulation game where we're able to actually just do this. I mean, I've never been to New York, so it's awesome to see how awesome this site is new york has a population of 8 million it is the largest city in the u.s and it is the 11th largest city in the world now i don't know if this is true or not but it says here new yorker could have trees planted outside outside their home for free i don't know if any of you guys watch this you guys are in new york is that true that's why I found in Google and that's what it says that you can actually have trees planted for free. New York has more than 380,000 millionaires. Most of the time, or which is, or should I say majority of the time, when there is a millionaire, most likely they live in New York. That's just mind blown to think. 380,000 millionaires lived in New York. And as we all know, New York is the most expensive city to live in the U.S. The average rent for New York is $3,500. I'm assuming that's probably like just, like just studio. New York has over 257 skyscrapers that are over 490 feet. And if I did this and if I remember correctly, again, I could be wrong here, but outside of New York, the second city with the most skyscraper right behind New York is actually Chicago. Again, I could be wrong, but that's what I found out myself here. Again, here in Tang Airlines, I don't know if that's true facts or not, but wherever the case may be, just take it how it is, all right? Just take it how it is. New York Public Libraries has over 50 million books. It is the second largest library system in the nation. The first one is actually the Congress, and it is the third largest library in the world. Those are a few facts that I've searched, I looked up about the overall New York. But there's a lot of individual things that we could definitely take a look at. Just admire the beauty here. It's just insane. Now I'm playing here in Ultra. 1440p Ultra here. And my frame rate 
it was like about 40 to 50 fps which i mean could be better but it's not bad because prior to this i had like a 2060 super now i have a uh, 3090 ti but when i had a 2060 super i couldn't even i was getting like 20 frames per second here so for me to get at least 40 50 here is really not that bad and just look at the view here man this is crazy i just can't let's look at new york now i heard new york is like one of the most not one of the most but it is like a dirty city right i heard like it's just dirty uh compared to like chicago now i, I live in outskirts chicago and i have like people that came to chicago that are from new york the first thing they know is like how clean the city is and new york is actually a home to like the most chinese people outside of asia right ahead of us is the most famous bridge we all see it in movies it's none other oh than the brooklyn bridge now the brooklyn bridge was the world first steel suspension bridge longest bridge for 20 years and let's take a nice view over the bridge here just look at it look at that old bridge here but has a lot of historic history about it frame rate is dropping but that's okay the total length of it of the bridge is 6,016 feet so it is over a mile long crossing it and it is completed in 1883 this is the bridge that killed Godzilla right here you guys watched the movie the ninth it was like the 98 oh yeah the bridge that killed Godzilla that's the famous Brooklyn Bridge here I just can't get over the fact that we just have a simulation game that we're able to travel all across the world like this it's just simply amazing now I don't know why am I heading towards the building or anything okay nope I'm a little I'm, I'm skewing to the left a little bit I should bring it back here we can't go to New York and not talk about Central Park. In a bunch of movies, Home Alone is one of them uh, that took place in Central Park. But Central Park here, guys, it is. Just look at this. Central Park is two and a half miles long and half a mile wide. It is not the largest park in New York City. But roughly, there's about 42 million visitors a year in New York. Just look at the look at the trees here, the green, the view here. Especially when you in one of those tall residential skyscrapers, you have this view of a uh, Central Park. We got we got baseball diamonds here. We got six of them, maybe more, eight of them possibly. Out of 42 million visitor, 14% of it is like newcomers, their first time visiting the park in general. So 40% of 42 million visit the park for the first time. Central Park is the oldest park in the US. It was first approved in 1853. If you walk the entire path of Central Park, it's 58 miles long. 58 miles long. If you walk the whole entire park, I cannot imagine someone doing that. Well, I don't think, well, if you were to walk I don't know if it's even possible to do that one day. They probably can, but a lot of people in New York, they, they're the speeder, they're runners, you know, they're, they move fast. So maybe they can, maybe they can cover the whole park in one day. Just look at the grass here. Just look at this view. We got the little pond here. New York, man. New York City. And guys, we're going to fly over Times Square here. That is Times Square. The ball drop, all that. So actually, the original name of Times Square was never Times Square. It was called Long Acre Square. And the first ball drop took place in 1907 for the new year. And it's still, and they still do it still to this day. About 50 million visitors a year in Times Square. The largest crowd in history for Times Square was estimated to be about around 2 million people celebrating the u.s victory on world war ii or in world war ii i'm sorry in august 14th of 1945 now we can't get really a good view of times square above the sky 
but what I do plan on doing is do like a street view where I'll use the drone and I will walk along New York like we're walking down the streets to get a better view of the whole entire city now I know the game isn't really meant for that you know it, it looks good when you're above above the air I and mean, when you're in the sky flying it looks better that way but when we get close to the ground it doesn't look good I know that but you know I think it's an awesome experience to so act like we're walking around New York but really not walking but you know so that's Times Square right there. That building in front of us, the one that's closer to us, is called 40, 432 Park Avenue. It is the third largest residential skyscraper in, in the world. And it is the fifth tallest skyscraper in New York at a height of 13, 1,396 feet. It has 147 compartments, compartments, apartments, and it was completed in 2015. We're gonna fly around it one more time. Take a nice look of that. 432 Park. Now, you know, living in New York, it's already it is expensive. But you know, you pretty much pay for the view. Higher the you know, higher the, 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 the building is, the more expensive it is. So imagine you're in this building, but you have this view of the park here. I think either facing north or facing south is probably the best view you could possibly have. If you were in New York, especially in, the, in, in like in this area right here, because you have the view of the Empire State Building, you have the One World Trade Center, and if you're facing the north side, you have the Central Park. And right in front of us, right here, if I aim it correctly, right there, that building, that turquoise building here, Central Park Tower, the tallest residential building. I'm sorry, skyscrapers in the world, completed in 2020. At a height of 1,550 feet, it has 131 floors, and it is the second tallest building, right behind One World Trade Center. Now, one thing to think about here, compared to the One World Trade Center and I guess Central Park Tower, is that if you compare the roof height of it like the roof height of the skyscraper the central park is taller but what makes the one world trade center taller overall was because of the spiral the spiral on the one one world trade center uh counts as part of the highest part of the building which makes it taller so i mean i don't know how we feel about that i feel like spiral is kind of cheating but hey whatever but if we talk about like just the roof height the the central park is, is is taller than one world trade center well those are these here on front of here our front of central park these are expensive uh, oh expensive to live i almost crashed into that central park that have been terrible here ladies and gentlemen we cannot forget king kong building right here empire state building built in 1930 constructed during a race it only took 13 months to complete this build here that is insane to think about 13 months to build it it was the first skyscraper to have 100 floors and back then when I say during a race it was actually competing with 40 Wall Street and Chrysler building and we can see the Chrysler building is the points one right over there. If I could aim it correctly, maybe not. Let me try to get to the view here. Chrysler building right there. That pointy, that is the Chrysler building right there. It was competing with Chrysler building and 40 Wall Street. And Empire State Building came out victorious. Um, it has its own zip code. Out of all the building here, all the skyscraper here is has its own zip code. And uh, the height of it is... 1,250 feet but we go to the tip of it which is the antenna is 1,454 it was the tallest building for 39 years from 1931 to 1970 and it was surpassed by none other than the World Trade Center it held that record for a long time 39 years man before it was surpassed what we're seeing in front of us is one of the most famous arena in the world 
Madison Square Garden. A lot of people says, or a lot of people say, if you can make it big in New York, you can make it big anywhere. Madison Square Garden, capacity of 20,789 seats, attendance, open in February 11th of 1968. And then back in 2019, Madison Square Garden was ranked number one for the most highest gross monthly of 173 million. A lot of concert hold there at the New York Knicks. A lot of performance was held there. Michael Jackson. Anything you can think of, Madison Square Garden is the most famous. And we're just circling around. It looks like I'm about to crash. This one more thing I like to check out. I know it's not part of New York City, but I I just want to see it because I heard a lot of good things about it. And I catch you guys when I get you there. MetLife Stadium. I know it's not part of New York. It's part of New Jersey. But I wanted to see this stadium in person. The home of the Jets and the Giants. The largest stadium in NFL with a capacity of 82,500. It was completed in 2010. But just look at that. BTS held the concert there. Taylor Swift. I feel like like MetLife is just it's a, it's a tall stadium too it's like it's tall just look at it just look at it just look how tall it is the Jets and the Giant cause uh, like uh, like other stadium I, I see it's like they're, they're they're lower you know but MetLife is like just tall I think it's like three three levels to it and typically on a stadium, you only get like two levels, really. But this is three levels. Oh, yeah, this is three levels right here. Let's look at it. I can't wait to use a drone and just walk in here, walk around here. Like, we're just checking out the stadium. I know it's not part of New York. It's supposed to be a New York tour, but I just had to stop by and look at MetLife. But we got a few more things we want to check out here that I want to show you guys. And that is Statue of Liberty. Ladies and gentlemen, ahead of us. It's Statue of Liberty, Lady Liberty here, and actually, to the left of it, there's like a cruise ship here. Yeah, that's interesting. Nice to see a cruise ship near the harbor here. But Lady Liberty, when I think of Statue of Liberty, I think of Michael Jackson music video. I think it was black and white. That's that's what I think of. A gift from France on October 28th, 1986. The total height of it, 305 feet, but the actual pedestal of it is 154 feet, and the Lady Liberty herself is 151 feet. Look at that. Freedom. Approximately 600 lightning strike. Lady Liberty, a year here. Statue could sway up to three inches on a windy day. Now we all might wonder, you know, we all might be wondering, why? It's the Statue of Liberty green, right? Like, when France gifted to us, it was copper. So what happened is, it's because of the oxidation. That what makes the statue green. Now, what does, what does oxidation mean? I don't know what it means. I just saw it on Google and I decided to use it. Make me sound a little smart. But honestly, I don't know what oxidation means. Is it just air? Maybe air, right? Is that what it is? But you see Lady Liberty here, got seven spikes on her head. That seven spikes is there for a reason. And behind those seven spikes, it means seven oceans and seven continents. That's what those spikes are. We're gonna do a close fly by Lady Liberty without hitting it. Hello, Lady Liberty. And the last thing on our tour today is the One World Trade Center. We all know what happened to it, the original World Trade Center. So I'm not gonna really bring it up. But, the One World Trade Center is the sixth tallest skyscraper in the world. And the reason why it is the sixth tallest is because of the spiral above the head, as you can see here. That, that is not an antenna. 
that is a spiral so the spiral adds you know it's part of the building they count it which makes a total height of 1776 feet but if you only count the roof height the roof height is only 1368 feet so compared to the height in essential park which is 1550 the essential park is almost 200 feet taller than the one world trade center here but look at that construction here look at that build right here look at this beauty we're just flying by here just look at that beauty right there mmm so when the one world trade center was completed in 2014 it took the title the willis tower as the tallest building in the north hemisphere and it was a lot of debate about it the same thing i brought up you know the antenna because the actual roof height of you know the willis tower or we call it here still the sears tower is still taller than the roof of the one world trade center but because of the spiral again that's why war the one world trade center got the title and a lot of people think that's cheating i mean me i think that's cheating too it's kind of like it's kind of like you're standing next to somebody and you decide to raise your hand and you know you're taller because you're raising your hand i feel like that's what it is but it is what it is that's the one world trade center it is designed to be the safest office building in the world with construction due to the 9-11 the elevator can travel at 23 miles an hour which gets you from the ground floor to the 102nd floor in just 60 seconds the building was used nothing but recycling material look at that and right below us is the 9 11 memorial it's been almost 22 years since it happened i see you remember that day when it happened that was in fifth grade but there's actually one tree that survived the 9 11 attack and um, they call it the survival tree. It lived through the 9 11. Just one more look here. Just look at the beauty here. Just look at the beauty. Look at the structure. Amazing. Simply just amazing. And that is the end of our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned a few things about New York that I didn't, that you guys didn't know. You guys learned something. When I was doing this research, I was like, wow, there's a lot of things I didn't know about New York. All the Platinum Premier Plus passengers, members, I'd like to thank you guys once again for choosing Tang Airline as your choice of flight, Flight 1990. And I can't wait for the next video. The next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly to New York at night. Check out the night view. I think it would be a, a good thing to do. Your captain signing out. Remember, Tang Airline. Let our unqualified pilots take you places. I catch you guys on the next video. Peace.